My name is Paul DeMarais, and um, I'm a pastel artist. I um, have been a pastel artist for a long, long time. Um, started out as a little kid. I liked drawing, and um, my parents encouraged me to keep drawing, and it was something that I did in school, and um, I got strokes for it. Little kids had me copy drawings for them, and I stayed with it, and I've stayed with it for a long, long time. And um, I guess the thing I enjoy most about being an artist is the challenge of making a painting. It's a really interesting process. That's where I'm really focused. And lately I'm doing a lot of teaching because I've found that I really enjoy it. And I think um, every artist needs to find different parts of their personality that, that suit various things that you can do in art. And for me, teaching has been a lot of fun. Um, my mom and dad are both teachers, so there's a lot of teaching in the blood. So lately, um, I've also gotten really interested in art materials. Uh, some artists are not interested in art materials. They just sort of buy them and use them and put them away. But I've always been interested in art materials and using them in different ways, um, putting them together with in different ways. Uh, I've been making pastels for probably 25 years and just love the colors. I like kind of cooking them up. It's all like cooking. So um, I just enjoy the color. And in the last year, I've gotten involved in making oil sticks because I always wanted to be an oil painter but didn't like the brushes and wanted to use my hands. So oil sticks, I think, are something that is really exciting for me. Probably my biggest influence was when I got out of art school. Um, I was 23, and I discovered that I didn't really know that much about painting. I didn't learn that much in art school, to tell you the truth. Um, I learned by looking at books and reading art magazines and occasional trips to the museum. I like to study old masters and things like that. But I went to a, a workshop with Albert Handel, and Albert is a very skilled traditional painter. And he was the one to explain to me about color value and seeing color as value. And I think this was probably the most influential bit of information that I took, and I still use it just about every day. Um, I think he showed me how beautiful pastel could be, how it was a very serious medium, every bit as beautiful as oil painting. So he is really my mentor, although um, I've deviated from his tradition quite a bit, and I'm much more of a wild, kind of a color-oriented artist than Albert is. But I've really felt like um, it was to my benefit to just look at books. I'd, I started out with those, um, the Walter Foster dollar books, how to draw the birds, how to draw the trees, how to draw the landscape. And when I look at those books, I still have a lot of them. They're still wonderful instruction, and the artists who illustrated them were just top-notch. So, um, I don't know. Each artist has to kind of learn the way they're going to learn. Um, I happen to believe that workshops are a great way to go because the information is really sort of packed and you come immersed in it and you can put it right to use. Usually after the workshops that I went to, um, I could see the results immediately and in six months from the workshops I could really see the personal growth. So um, I'm still influenced by um, there's just a, a number of famous painters, but there's also hundreds of painters who should be famous that aren't. And I seem to be discovering those kind of painters all the time. And um, each one, I learn something, maybe a color combination, something that really excites me. And I think I'll store it in my mental imagery and maybe use that um, combination later on. Probably the most 
recently, I, I went to a, um, a show at the um, Frist Museum in Nashville, and I saw a painting uh, by Jules Bastian LePage, and it was the most wonderful painting. And um, there's a peasant girl sitting in a field, and a fellow laying down with a hat over his eyes, taking a snooze. And when I stood in front of that painting, I felt like the people were talking to me. I could just, and I was just sort of mesmerized there. And I stood there for about a half an hour just looking at that painting. And that, um, I don't know, it was a very emotional thing looking at a painting that, that just grabbed me that way. So um, I feel happy that after all these years in art that art can still get me that excited. So I'm looking forward to seeing other great paintings. Um, I think artists, you know, you can only do good, as well as you're going to do, um, but I always admire the, the artists that are a lot greater than I'll ever be. Um, just because it, we're part of a big fraternity of people who've taken on the challenge of making a good painting. Purple. No doubt about it. Um, purple is, it, um, in ancient Egypt, it was for royalty, and I can understand why. It's a beautiful, just a magical color. And I still have not made a purple pastel the way I want it. So it just eludes me. Well, I think it's a very difficult career. I really do. Um, there's no such thing as a self-made artist. You have to have a lot of help, usually from family, from friends, from people who support your work. Um, it just requires a lot of help from other people if you're going to continue on in the career. But it's one of those careers that you, you've got to just persist and hang on. Um, because the longer you're in it, the better. Um, there was a great quote they asked, they were asking a, a 92 year old Canadian painter who is very famous. The interview asked, and asked him, um, why is it that he was so successful when so many other painters who are more talented than him were not? It's kind of a rude question, but he said, I just outlived the competition, you know? <laughs> And there is something to that. So I would tell a person who wanted to get into it to just be tenacious and learn and keep at it and don't quit because it's a tough, it's a tough go. Well, Cheap Joe's is an, an artist owned business. So I think that's exciting because I know that Joe is interested in materials like I am and gets a thrill out of using art materials. So that brings an entirely different viewpoint to the art supply business than a company who is just stocking it like a warehouse. It's much more personal. Um, it's just, there are many artists involved in it. So I think that's exciting when a company is a company of artists rather than a warehouse. Mm -hmm.